In the face of rapid urbanization and the ever-growing challenges of traffic congestion and environmental sustainability, transit-oriented developments or TODs have emerged as a holistic approach to urban planning, rooted in the idea of integrating transportation infrastructure with residential, commercial and recreational spaces, TODs aim to create vibrant, pedestrian-friendly communities centered around efficient public transit systems. In this video of Urbanism Explained with City Builders, I explain what a TOD actually is, what the key features are and what benefits we get when we are building our cities like that. In the end, I also talk a little bit about the build I did for this video and explain why I imagine this as the perfect urban design. Peter Calthorpe codified the concept of a transit-oriented development in the late 1980s and while others had promoted similar concepts and contributed to the design, TODs became a fixture of modern planning when Calthorpe published The Next American Metropolis in 1993. At the heart of TODs is the strategic placement of high-density mixed-use developments in close proximity to major transportation hubs such as train stations, bus stops or subway terminals. This design philosophy encourages residents to rely on public transportation, thereby reducing dependency on private vehicles and minimizing the associated carbon footprint. By fostering accessibility and connectivity, TODs contribute to a more sustainable and inclusive urban environment. Mixed-use spaces TODs emphasize the creation of mixed-use areas, blending residential, commercial and recreational spaces within a compact footprint. This diversity enhances the leafwork play dynamic, reducing the need for extensive travel and promoting community engagement. Proximity to transit nodes The central tenet of TODs is their close proximity to public transit nodes. This encourages residents to use public transportation, which not only reduces traffic congestion, but also promotes a more sustainable mode of commuting. Pedestrian-friendly design TODs prioritize walkability by incorporating well-designed pedestrian pathways, sidewalks and bike lanes. This not only enhances the overall urban experience, but also encourages healthier lifestyles and reduces reliance on automobiles. Affordable housing options <laughs> TODs often include a mix of housing options to cater to diverse socio-economic groups. The goal is to create inclusive communities where people of various income levels can access housing, employment and amenities conveniently. Green spaces and sustainable practices TODs are designed with environmental sustainability in mind, often featuring green roofs, energy-efficient buildings and ample green spaces. These developments prioritize sustainability and aim to minimize their ecological impact. Community engagement TODs prioritize community involvement and engagement by fostering a sense of belonging and shared responsibility. These developments create strong, resilient communities that actively contribute to the well-being of their residents. Economic development. The concentration of mixed-use developments around transit nodes stimulates economic growth. Local businesses thrive as residents and visitors contribute to the vibrant commercial and cultural scene within the TOD. reduce traffic congestion. By encouraging the use of public transportation, TODs alleviate traffic congestion, leading to smoother traffic flow and reduced air pollution. Environmental sustainability. TODs promote environmentally conscious practices contributing to reduce carbon emissions and the conservation of natural resources improved quality of life. With a focus on walkability, accessibility and community engagement, TODs enhance the overall quality of life for residents, fostering a sense of well-being and connection. Economic opportunities. The concentration of diverse businesses and TODs creates job opportunities and stimulates economic development, benefiting both residents and the wider community. 
Enhanced Public Transit Ridership TODs serve as catalysts for increased public transit ridership, making efficient transportation a cornerstone of urban living. So what is my idea behind the perfect transit-oriented development? As the centerpiece of the build we obviously have a metro station ideally with a direct line to the city center, but I also wanted to create a little community center around here as well. Next to the station we have an open plaza with water play areas. I really like places like these and they always attract a ton of people and families with their children, especially during the summer months. Due to the higher noise pollution around train or metro stations, I decided to design the immediate surroundings a bit more open and create a lot of opportunities to hang out or meet people and sit down. I also included artificial lakes and areas of open water. The bigger lake next to the station is also accessible by stairs and has beach-like resting areas to create a nice spot to sunbathe or jump into the refreshing water and in general enjoy the time in the warmer months. The corridor beneath and next to the tracks is reserved for recreational areas such as park spaces, sports fields or a skate park. I'm also a friend of nice architecture so I took this really cool Amsterdam style buildings and created a larger commercial space with grocery stores, cafes and bars. The other buildings around the plaza consist of mixed-use residential and commercial buildings with a lot more sidewalk cafes and shopping amenities. To increase density, we'll find the tallest buildings in the closest proximity to the station and a bit further away, we'll have medium density residential zones with calm traffic areas and pedestrian paths. My idea was to have the parking garages underneath the buildings with their access on the roads a bit further away from the pedestrianized zone in the center. What do you think about my design? Have I succeeded in building a good TOD? And what about you? Are you team suburb or team urbanity? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video you could consider supporting me on Patreon. Other than that thanks for watching and have a nice rest of your day.